Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As I've said in the intro, the question I ask is, do you need uh, the, the new Hornaday 6mm arc? I don't know. I don't have one. And I told you I wouldn't give an opinion on something that I did not uh, have familiarity with. However, I do have familiarity with the 6.5 Grendel, uh, but not in a 100 grain bullet. So I looked up the Hornaday published Hornaday arc data for 100 grain, 105, 107 grain bullet. And I looked up the speed, I looked up all of that kind of stuff. Granted, they have a higher BC. Uh, and Hornaday records both in an 18 inch gas gun and a 24 inch bolt gun. 24 inch bolt gun uh, has, can use more powder and has higher velocity, but it tops out at about 20, 2750 uh, in Hornaday's book. Well, with a 120 grain bullet uh, in the 6.5 Grendel, I'm getting right at 2600. So I bought uh, some 100 grain ELD match bullets in the 6.5 Grendel to give it a to give it a shot. Therefore, I had uh, an adequate comparison between the data in terms of numbers of speed, velocity, extreme spread, etc., uh, with at least the same weight bullet, a 100 grain bullet. Uh, but uh, these match bullets, I don't know uh, much about them. Uh, they're probably very accurate, and we'll see. The target is set up at 100 yards. You'll see some shots. I'll roll in some shots. Uh, we'll see the target at the end. Again, do you need a 6 millimeter arc? I don't know. I've got a 6.5 Grendel. Uh, the data is pretty close. Uh, so if I don't need one, I won't get one. Ah, well, probably will. Uh, I also said I'd never get an AR, and I have five of them now. Okay, folks, hold on, and uh, we'll get to shooting. Well, so far so good uh, with the benchmark. This is the last three shots. Uh, the last one's averaged uh, almost almost 2,700 feet per second, which is equal to the arc. Uh, and I'm not even to the top load. Uh, so here's the last three shots. This is uh, exactly 29 grains of benchmark. Uh, according to the max calculation, I can go three tenths of a grain more, but I don't see any point. Uh, you'll see the target at the end, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, Pretty good standard deviations, and uh, you know, so far the largest group is maybe three quarters of an inch. So here's the last three shots of the benchmark. Twenty six ninety one? That can't be right. Twenty six ninety seven? Twenty six eighty seven. All right, so I'll show you the target in just a few minutes. I've still got the uh, Power Pro varmint to shoot. About twelve more shots, uh, starting at uh, thirty grains, going up to thirty one grains. Uh, depending on uh, the source, uh, that data comes directly from Sierra. Uh, the data that I used from Hornady was inconsistent because uh, Hornaday. Uh, it seems to be mild, uh, and I have experience with this powder, but not in the 100 grain. 
So I'll go ahead and shoot those and we'll take it out at the end. So let's go ahead and take a look at these last three shots. Uh, and then we'll go examine the target so that you can see it. But so far so good. I'm really pleased. The uh, velocity now does exceed of what uh, what's published by Hornaday for the for their six millimeter arc. Uh, I'm already up to 2750 uh, feet per second. Uh, that's quite a bit faster than what uh, is in Hornaday's published reloading data that you can access uh, by looking on the internet. Okay, so here's the last three shots. Fire in a hole. Reset my phonograph. Seven seventy Twenty-seven fifty-eight. Okay, so let's take a look at this brass real quick on this top load. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of case mark, ejector mark on there. Maybe you can see that. I don't know. Uh, but not enough to worry about. But anyway, that last group opened up anyway, so I'm not too excited. So let's go down and look at the target, uh, and you can analyze for yourself. Okay, folks, here's the target. Uh, this was my first uh, sight around with 120 grain gold dot, just to make sure that I was on target. But here we go with the benchmark uh, 28, 28.3, 28 28.6, 28 29. Groups were all pretty much identical. Uh, the best standard deviation was the top load of, of five extreme spreads of 10, uh, 2691. There's two in one hole there. Uh, so that would be probably the load that I would stick with. Besides that, it's easy to remember 29 grains even. Uh, over to Power Pro Varmint, uh, uh, instantly a lot uh, faster even on the lower load than the benchmark. Uh, Here's about maybe a half inch group, 2681, uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch, 2686, uh, about a one inch group, 2741, again about a one inch group, 2781, uh, the best standard deviation up here of four and eight. So it's inconclusive as far as uh, the Grendel versus the six millimeter arc, because I don't have a six millimeter arc. But in all cases with a 20 inch barrel, uh, these velocities exceeded what is is published by Hornaday uh, for their six millimeter arc. Uh, granted, they're using an 18 inch barrel. The numbers are a lot higher in a 24 inch bolt gun, but so is their uh, so is their powder charges. So I hope you uh, appreciate this, folks. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. I'll see you next time. But thanks again for watching, folks. Goodbye.